Hi, I'm here to check in, um, or get checked for labor and delivery. Swanee. Good morning, everybody. It is 4.54. Rochelle woke me up, uh, gosh, I don't know, hour and a half ago, so through two or three something a.m. Uh, told me that she was hurting a little bit, contractions were getting um, pretty consistent, so she felt like she needed to go in to go get checked out and go see, and so she just called me 20 minutes ago and said that they are admitting her, uh, that she had dilated a little bit, and there is progression this morning. So I'm getting our bags and everything ready right now, waiting on Kaylee, uh, to come over she's gonna hang out with the kiddos and pepper while I head over to the hospital to meet Rochelle this morning so we'll keep you guys updated and let you know what's going on soon I feel like another one's about to come on <laughs> oh I'm sorry Rochelle's sweet she was waiting for me to get her to get her epidural but that's what we're waiting on right now I was not sweet. I'm, I want you to. I know, because you're scared. Yeah. Last time with Emma, they gave me a walking epidural, and I told them I didn't want that this time. I yeah. want the real thing. You said they don't do that anymore? They don't do They said that here they won't do it, because it's, or whoever's on call tonight wouldn't do it, because it's not, it's not as like effective. And I was like, I know. <laughs> I didn't like it. Tired. Got your peanut ball here. Got you all set up. Yeah, well now you're feeling better. I'm feeling good. <laughs> <laughs> what did they say you're at right now? Five centimeters? Yeah, she just checked me because they, they did the epidural and then they did the catheter. So while they did the catheter, she said I'm at a five. So I progressed. When I came in, she said I was at a three and then I was at a four and now I'm at a five. We also have like the best nurse and Rochelle's really <laughs> sad that she's getting off soon. But the nurse said that the next one is a really good friend. So <laughs> she's like, you're going to be in good hands. But Rochelle really likes this nurse. Wiping my tears I know. Away. That was so getting sweet. Girl it hurt. That was, was so like, sweet. Wiping my tears and like rubbing my, I felt like she was like my mom. <laughs> but she's like my age. So it that's was weird. sweet. But she was so sweet. Yeah. 8 12 a.m. Things have kind of slowed down a little bit since I got my epidural, which is kind of expected. Um, but they're just letting things progress naturally, so they haven't given me anything except for an IV and the epidural. I can still feel them, but they are definitely not like they were when Justin first got here. I was getting them a lot and they were really bad. So I was at a five, like an hour and a half ago. My doctor came in and saw me and we're gonna check me. I think he said around nine o'clock. So I'm gonna try and rest my eyes a little bit and get a little bit of sleep because I went to bed at probably 10.30 and woke up at 12. <laughs> got like an hour and a half. But she's gonna be here and like right here in this little bassinet. I can't believe it. I'm not sure if Rochelle mentioned to you guys or not, but baby is sunny side up still. And so she flipped, she's not breached, but she's in a weird position to where um, it's a lot more painful. And so Rochelle right now is actually experiencing lots of pain in like her butt area, like her lower back and butt. Um, they said that's probably because she's sunny side up. So what they're doing right now is they've got Rochelle in this very interesting position <laughs> to try and see if they can basically get baby to turn um, to make things a little bit easier but she's fully dilated right now they just checked her a few minutes ago um, they said baby still has some room like she's not super low but she's getting there so we're gonna just try this position here for like the next hour or so and see if that helps but she's she's hurting right now and I'm wondering if that's her trying to like turn but she's 
now. Ten centimeters. Well, you're already dilated, so that's good. Eleven thirty-five. Yeah, you're going quick. And they didn't give me anything. Nope. No Pitocin. Nothing. They didn't yet. give me Pitocin or anything. So she's doing it by herself. Yeah. She's good, but if she could stop kicking my back, that would be great. Thank you. like Emma but like she also doesn't look like Emma. Yeah. I don't know. She's got her own she look. She's wide awake. She's exploring and making little faces. She knows your voice. She's so small compared to Emma. I know. I remember Emma being so big. Mm -hmm. and, and the so boys being so tiny. She's a perfect size. You did it baby. <laughs> This is like my favorite part of labor and delivery is the moments right afterwards where we get not to hold doing it. Not not really actually hard. pushing, but like the moments afterwards, getting to hold your babies for the first time. Sorry if the camera's shaking. I have the, the shakes right now. She is Hi, sweetie. <laughs> you are so pretty. Hi. I don't know if anyone remembers this, but Justin is actually the master of swaddling the babies. It's because the boys were like really hard to and you if you didn't do it right like they would there's two mad. of them yeah so you have to really get it so he's gonna game. swaddle her because he's way better at it than i am <laughs> that's why i like the velcro swaddles oh, you are fighting it for sure oh. you are fighting it for sure huh the older that she gets and the last three hours older i mean 
the more I think she looks like Emma. She does. She's got her round mm -hmm. face. And her cheeks. And the nose. Mm -hmm. Always with the nose. I thought she might have your nose based yeah, yeah. on one ultrasound I, I saw. But she's got the, yeah, the yeah, Chavez yeah. nose. <laughs> so they told me the nurse that was, because my doctor didn't make it in time to, for the delivery. She came out in one push. Came in probably she what, came, 10 seconds after yeah, she came out? Literally, he got there like one minute too late. Um, but she came, what's it called, end call. So she came out in the, the amniotic sac, like came out in one, her head came out, and then one second she's later, right. the rest of her came out. The doctor didn't even catch her. I'm pretty sure the nurse caught her. There was another doctor in the room, but they said they were waiting for the, like the amniotic sac to pop, and then they thought she was gonna come right after that, yeah. but she <laughs> didn't, she I didn't just even all look, came out. I didn't even look back to see if we actually we caught got it, it in time. I think I pushed record right as the we nurse probably was probably couldn't like, well, show that online coming. anyways because that would probably yeah. be not good to see. But how that cool is crazy. that? She said it was super rare that she's only seen it like, yeah. like a couple I didn't times. Get the chance it's very to look rare. At it, so. I know. I wish I could have seen it, mm. but it got it progressed really quick. So it was 10 centimeters, and then you were just kind of. I started on getting your side. really uncomfortable, like so, like really 20, uncomfortable. No, 20 minutes? probably about. 30 to 35 minutes before she, she came out, I started you were starting to get real painful. Well, so then this part is really gross to me. I don't know if it's oh, gross yeah. to you. She so they had me switch onto my hands and knees at one point because she was sunny side up and they were trying to get her to roll to like the, the right way so that they could get her out like easier. And she said she could see the back of her head pushing up against my back. That's weird. And you didn't see that. Well, you mm -hmm. weren't looking for so it, it maybe. You. you were trying to calm me down because I was in a lot of pain. But that was really weird That's to weird. hear. But she said she basically didn't end up turning. Like she turned as like mm -hmm. her head was already out basically by the time she turned the rest of her body. Yeah. But she's finally sleeping. She breastfed for like an hour. Yeah, for a long time. And we're just waiting for our postpartum room now. Mm -hmm. Perfect. She's just. She's such a cute baby, dude. Here, here you she hold it. I don't want to drop it on accident. Like a freaking cutie. Pie. I think she looks just like Emma now. Now that I'm like getting to know her face a little bit more. Yeah. First, oh, and here's the best part, you guys. Mm. Look at this. Look dude, at the hair. Look at her brown hair. hair. <laughs> we joked about Emma having red hair, and then we joked about oh, this. We're like, what having... if she came out with like. Br brown hair. I mean, oh we, it's, it's cool. not that surprising. We both have brown hair, well, yeah. but it still has like a compared baby to the rest of the kids. For it to come out like that, yeah. it's like the perfect way to complete the family. Right. And she's perfect. All she natural. Got all on Apgar, your own. Not all natural. I had an epidural. Oh, Just well, mean they didn't yeah. induce me. Yeah, like yeah, I, everything exactly. progressed on its exactly. own naturally, but. And her APGAR score was nine. She literally, mm -hmm. like the second the sack popped, she instantly started crying, yeah. like, ah! like instantly, awesome. which was really, they said she's got a good set of lungs on her, good yeah. color and everything. So Get some cuddle time in, soak it up, and we'll talk to you guys later. Thank you guys so much for being <laughs> here with us for I think I cried when we did this one. Emma That's the, the last one, guys. Oh, now you're really gonna make me cry. It's the last one.